have become discriminatory over a period of times and taken on very horrendous forms of exploitation. We must look back and see. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu and you're very much welcome to our channel. Uh, thank you to everyone that's been supporting us. I feel the need to say this every time I make a video because we just appreciate each and every one of you so much for liking, sharing, watching, commenting. All that means a lot to us. You can also check out our, our vlog channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can find us on iTunes. We've got a podcast diving in with Funny and Jesse. And for the first time, I said that right. You can also follow us on social media and you can interact with us. Um, if I'm forgetting anything, I'm sure it's in the description box below. So today I'm going to be reacting to Stop Talking About Women's Rights by Sad Guru. This was posted on Women's Day, I saw it as it was posted and I was just curious to see what it was about. So I watched it beforehand and I thought it would make a good reaction video. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. When you're walking on the street, why should you be bothered whether somebody is a woman or a man? Why are you bothered what is in somebody's pants? There is no need to go on talking about women's rights. We must say human rights and women are part of it, that's all. It's important the feminine in the world is as important as the masculine in the world. Sadhguruji, what is the quality uh, you find in an Indian woman when compared to the world woman, other countries, what is the best and beautiful quality, one single quality? Are you trying to get me into trouble <laughs> How she is different and how she is greater than when compared to the other women all over the world? See, uh, I don't know why we are putting only women on the focus <coughs> We are always putting women in the focus because we believe either they can be right or wrong. And of course, men are right. So because we are always right, we are looking whether this is the right kind of woman or the wrong kind of woman. You must understand, for whatever reasons, the nature has given a larger responsibility for the woman in terms of bearing a child and having a profound influence on the child in the early part of child's life. And when we talk about a child, don't think this is about reproduction. You and me are here. Because of that, so our very existence began in a woman's body. That is, if you're normal birth, I am normal birth. There are some people who claim they drop from elsewhere, I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> if you're normal birth, our life began in a woman's body. And today, the simple biological factors of being male or female, we are exaggerating it too much. I'm saying, when you're walking on the street, why should you be bothered whether somebody is a woman or a man? Why are you bothered what is in somebody's pants? It's not your business. Only in bathrooms and bedrooms it should matter, nowhere else. In the working places, on the street, wherever else we are, why should it matter whether somebody is a man or a woman? Why can't you just treat it… treat them as human beings? 
I think we are excessively focused on this, which is creating a very unhealthy atmosphere. That means we are constantly over-infatuated with body parts, that is why we are going on recognizing people as by their gender. You are not recognizing people by their intelligence, by their capabilities, by their competence, only by their gender. But it is not a fair way of looking at the world. For certain aspects of our life, gender is important. But for rest of the life, how much brains you got is important, how much capable you are is more important. Gender is only valid in certain relationships. In rest of the relationships, gender shouldn't even come into the picture. Only then there will be equality. There is no need <clears throat> There is no need to go on talking about women's rights. We must say human rights and women are part of it, that's all. So, about the Indian woman, <laughs> should I still talk? <laughs> In this country, for a long time, we've nurtured many wonderful things. But these wonderful things, because of many misunderstandings, have also taken on very horrendous forms. When I say it, it's taken on horrendous forms, many simple things which were done for the protection of the woman, for the well-being of the woman, have become discriminatory over a period of times and taken on very horrendous forms of exploitation we must look back and see why these little things were created. If we don't address these things, the Western world is in… on a binge because they want to make male and female equal. It is not necessary to be equal, equal opportunity is fine. It is not necessary to expect a woman to do the same things that a man is doing. Then what is the point of the gender differentiation that nature has made? It's important, the feminine in the world is as important as the masculine in the world. <clears throat> if… but today, in the name of equality, women are coming to your place where they are beginning to act like men because they know that's the only way they can succeed in the world. The only way they can succeed is they have to act like men. You see, even women doing like this these days, uh, this is not necessary because if you destroy the feminine, then you truly have enslaved the woman. If you do not value the feminine in the world, all the gentleness will go away, you will have a marketplace at home also. It's already happening big time. Before people marry, they are making an agreement, when we break, who will get what in this house? Yes. Prenuptial agreements are being made. Before we get married, already an agreement, if we break, my bank balance is mine, yours is yours. How can two people live like this? But here, still we have the joy of two people becoming one and enjoying that maybe after some time you will fight, but still, <laughs> at least you have the joy of weaving two lives into one. When you go at it like this suspiciously in the name of equality, you will never know the joy of knowing each other, mingling with each other, being one with each other, nothing will happen, home will become a marketplace. This is because of wrong ideas of equality. Equality you should not even talk about, we should talk about responsibility for each other.
I guess his lessons or whatever this is are always interesting. He has he just I like how he tackles issues. He speaks in a way that everything is clear to understand. By the way, in the beginning of the video I actually said that I watched it. I think I watched the first one minute or two minutes. From there I just watched it now. There's so much sense in whatever he was saying. I don't understand why we're trying so hard to be like the opposite sex. There's a reason why we're different. Each one has a role. Women have their role. Men have their role. All this inequality that exists is because we're, tr we're trying to bridge a gap in a way that doesn't make sense. Like he said, there's so much misunderstanding. That's why we're out here doing the most. How about taking responsibility for once? Learn to be responsible or just take responsibility. He also mentioned, I found funny how he mentioned, um, what was it? The prenuptial agreement. I was watching something and I actually wanted my boyfriend and I to have to make a podcast concerning the same thing. It doesn't make sense. Imagine you're dating and you come in and you're saying, when we break up, you take this or take that or your bank is your bank. I mean, I don't think, it, when it comes to such things, I think we should remember our culture at the end of the day. These things are being taught to us. I'm sure my culture doesn't require me or my people to sign such things. Those are Western to us. Those are foreign ideas to us. But anyway, it was a good video. And the most important thing was we should have human rights, not women rights. We are part of of those humans. We shouldn't make it a subsection. Why don't we? Are there even men rights? The other the other day was Women's Day. Is that Men's Day? I don't know. Anyway, this video was amazing. The knowledge was just it's something good to learn at the end of the day. Think about it. Watch this video. Think about it. Don't just sit there and judge. Oh, he's saying this. Oh, he. No, sit down, think about it, and then have your say. Let me know how you feel about his video and whatever he was talking about and what you think about women's rights. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.